Today we're going to talk about copying and pasting, inserting a row or column, hiding a row or column, deleting a row or column, renaming a worksheet, and adding color to the tabs in the worksheet. So as you know, we can open up Microsoft Excel from the taskbar by clicking here or from the start menu. by clicking here. But today we're going to open up Microsoft Excel from a Microsoft Excel workbook. So I'm going into the File Explorer. I'm clicking on Documents and then I'm going to double click on Formulas. I'm clicking on Formulas which is my workbook for Excel. The first thing we're going to do is add a worksheet to this workbook by clicking on insert and then click on insert sheet. You can also click on this plus sign and that will give you a new sheet as well. The next thing we're going to do is copy information from the other worksheets in the workbook to sheet one. So I'm going to click on concatenate. And copy some information. Click back on sheet one and paste. I'm going to go to count if. Copy the information. And I'm going to click back on sheet one. Place my cursor here and C1 and paste. And then I'm going to click on average if. Copy the information and then we'll click back on sheet one and place my cursor in D1 and paste. Now you'll notice that when you look at the workbook, this particular sheet has columns that look like they're not showing the entire uh, content that it is housing. So I'm going to click on column A and double click in between A and B get the column to auto fit I can also click on column B go to format and click on auto fit column width I can also insert a column by clicking on D and then clicking insert I can also insert a row by clicking on 3 and clicking insert I can also hide these rows and columns by using the resize cursor which is showing up here and then merely resizing the columns until I see double zeros or zeros. Okay. I can also unhide these columns by selecting C and E and then going back to format and click on unhide column. I can also click on th two and four and go back to format and click on unhide row. Now to delete these columns or rows I can click on the row number that I want to delete and then click delete. I can also select the information that's in column E by highlighting it all and I know I've selected it because I have the white uh, plus sign and then I can move my cursor to the edge of the co content that is selected and wait for the plus sign to come up with the arrows pointing in either direction. Click once with, with my mouse and drag and drop. Now I can change the name of this tab by going to Format and Rename Sheet. I 
and then hit enter. I can also click on this tab and then change the color. We have talked about copying and pasting content from one worksheet to the other, inserting and deleting rows and columns, hiding rows and columns, renaming the worksheet, and adding color to the tab. Thank you for joining me.